Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the LX Wu Commerce Ship Engine Multi Carrier Shipping Plugin and how it works. If you're running an e commerce store and need a reliable shipping solution, this plugin could be just what you're looking for. So, without further ado, let's dive in. The LX Wu Commerce Ship Engine Multi Carrier Shipping Plugin is a powerful tool that allows you to integrate multiple carriers into your Wu Commerce store. This means that you can easily offer shipping options from the top shipping carriers like FedEx and UPS to your customers. Now, let's take a look at how this plugin works. Step 1. Install and activate the plugin. The first step is to install and activate the LX Wu Commerce Ship Engine Multi Carrier Shipping Plugin on your Wu Commerce store. Go to your WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins, and then click on Add New. Upload the plugin file that you just downloaded from the link in the description, and then click on Install Now. After installation, activate the plugin. Since we already have the plugin installed, we shall move forward. You may access the plugin by going to your WooCommerce, Settings, Shipping, and then Ship Engine. Step 2. Connect Ship Engine Account. After activation, you need to set up your Ship Engine account and connect it to the plugin. This process is simple and can be completed in a few steps. Once you're logged into your Ship Engine account, you'll need to generate API keys that you will use to connect your Ship Engine account to the plugin. If you do not have an account, you may go ahead and sign up and then generate the API key. Step 3. General Settings tab. After connecting your Ship Engine account, navigate to the General Settings tab in the plugin's settings. Here, you can enable real-time rates for your cart and checkout pages as well as enable debug mode and status log if you face any issues and want to understand what is going wrong. The previous two options are mainly for developers. Additionally, you may go ahead and paste the API key and select a mode. Since we already have the API key, we shall proceed with it in test mode. Keep in mind that if you are using it on your main website, set it to live mode. Step 4. Rates and Services tab. Here, you can choose a method title and the countries it is available to. This is a title that is displayed next to the fallback rate that is displayed on the cart and checkout page. Next, enter the sender's address and zip code. Once you are done with this go ahead and enable the estimated delivery date and provide your regular working days and cut off time. Once you are done with the above settings, you may enter a fallback rate, rate type, a handling fee and select either or both the carrier options such as FedEx and UPS along with their ID. The fallback rate mentioned above will be displayed if Ship Engine fails to return a matching rate. Finally, under the services, select the various shipping options you want to provide from each shipping carrier you select. The carrier IDs can be found by going to your Ship Engine dashboard, Connections, and Carriers. Copy the IDs and paste them into the Carrier ID field in the plugin, separating them with a delimiter. Despite the fact that the Ship Engine API is integrated into multiple carriers, the LX Wu Commerce Ship Engine Multi Carrier Shipping plugin currently only supports UPS and FedEx. The plugin is regularly updated and will eventually add support for more carriers. Step 5 label generation tab in the label generation tab you may choose the format of the print label such as png pdf etc you may select if you wish to charge insurance and or make it mandatory as well as select the print label size and enable the signature options if you wish to add a default signature to all your products next you may select the default international and domestic shipping options and provide details regarding the sender's address and information Finally, you may enable third-party billing for UPS and provide the account number, country, zip code, and allow third-party billing at checkout. Step 6. Packaging tab. Finally, you can set up package dimensions, weights, and a few more details under this tab. The fields change depending on what parcel packaging you choose. These three options are pack items individually, pack into boxes based on weight and dimensions, and pack based on weight. 
Once you are done with all the required customization, you may go ahead to your website and check if the changes have been implemented. As you can see, the shipping options we selected are visible on the card page. Step 7. Generate a shipping label. Once an order has been placed on your website, you may go to the WooCommerce dashboard and then the orders page. As you can see, the order page displays a bunch of information about the order along with a few customizable options. You may go ahead and select an action such as emailing the invoice to the customer after the label is generated. After selecting the Generate Packages button, you will be able to substitute the service chosen by the customer with a preferred service from your side. Navigate to the Generate Shipping Label using Ship Engine API section and click on the three blue lines. A range of services will be displayed, and you may select the one that best meets your requirements. When you're finished, click the Create Shipment button. When you generate the label, you will also obtain the shipment tracking ID. Finally, go ahead and click the print label option. As you can see a shipping label has been created with all the order specifications and tracking number. And there you have it. A step-by-step -step guide on how to configure the LX WooCommerce Ship Engine multi-carrier shipping plugin. By following these steps, you can easily set up your shipping options and manage all your shipping needs from a single platform. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.